Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the new box set. That's right, more boxed set. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. Entering the new season of Warhammer 40,000 with two boarding patrols and a battle force. Battlefields in the grim darkness of the far future are shifting as Vashtor the Arcvane and Abaddon unleash the calamitous Arcs of Omen and set intricate plans in motion. The various factions of the 41st millennia are now forced to undertake boarding actions against these twisted space hulks with small elite forces clashing in their claustrophobic confines. We've already discussed what boarding patrol detachments look like, but if you want to get involved with a fresh force, check out these two new boarding patrol boxes. Alright, so we have two new boarding patrol boxes, one for Chaos Space Marines and one for Space Marines. At this point in time, we have no idea how much these are going to cost, uh, but we are going to go ahead and break down what's inside. The Emperor's Finest are the prime bulwark against Abaddon's nefarious schemes, and the boarding patrol is typical of their brutal efficiency in such matters. You'll be able to face any foe with a highly customizable Primaris Captain in Gravis armor, 5 heavy intercessors, and 10 assault intercessors. Alright, so here we can see the boarding patrol. Uh, we just went over what the list is, and I went ahead and pulled up the prices for these as well. Alright, so here we have the contents of the Space Marine boarding patrol. So we have the Captain in Gravis armor for $38. Then we have 5 Heavy Intercessors for $65. And then finally we have 10 of the Standard Intercessors for $60. That gives us a total of $163. So we know the current Combat Patrols for 40 k are $150. And the Battle Forces are $210. And they tend to average about 30-40% to savings. So somewhere around like 33-35 to typically. So that being said, we know this isn't going to come in at 210 because that's higher than the retail value or MSRP of all the models inside. And then for a combat patrol, they're 150 normally. That would only be $13 in savings. So they must be priced cheaper than that, or at least this one. So what I'm guessing is it's going to be $110, and this is completely just a guess. But if it's $110 and we divide 110 by 163, we get 0.67, which is roughly a 33% discount. So my guess on this one is it's going to be $110. And at $110, you're saving roughly 33%. And overall, I'd say it's decent. I'm not honestly sure that heavy intercessors are suddenly going to be good. I think standard intercessors are pretty good. In this case, these are assault intercessors, which is even better. Because they're actually going to include your combat weapons, like a power fist or a thunder hammer, etc. And there's enough actual pieces inside or bits on the sprue that you could actually do two five-man squads of Assault Intercessors with a combat weapon on each sergeant. So overall, I think this is a nice box set. I'm not sure about the Heavy Intercessors, how they fit into here. I would have actually rather see something like Aggressors. I think are going to be very strong in boarding actions. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, it's a nice setup, and it looks like it's going to be a box set at a lower price point. Again, my guess on this one is going to be 110 all right, and then next, Abaddon spearheads elements of his current campaign in person, and so the Chaos Space Marine boarding patrol includes the Despoiler himself, 10 Chaos Space Marine legionaries, and 20 cultists for you to cherry pick your own patrol from. All right, so this is a pretty nice box here. I'm a big fan of Abaddon the Despoiler. He is very good, even after the recent changes. Also, the legionaries are super cool models and necessity for your army. And then, of course, all the new Chaos cultists are pretty freaking awesome as well. So this setup is actually two squads of 10 cultists, one squad of 10 legionaries, but the legionaries actually aren't shown. It only shows five legionaries in this picture. So I'm not sure if this is an error in the article saying that you get 10 legionaries and you actually only get five, or if they have just left some out of the pictures. I find that very, very unlikely, and I think you'll agree with me in just a moment as well when we total this up. All right, so when we go ahead and total everything listed up, we have Abaddon the Despoiler at $65. We have 10 of the Legionaries for $65. Only five are pictured, though. And then we have 10 of the Cultists for $45. And then 10 more Cultists for $45. So that gives us a total of $220 for this set. So I do find it very strange that the Space Marine box would only be $163, and this one is $220. Because that implies pretty clearly with that $63 gap that we're not going to get these boxes for the same price. So there's definitely a possibility that they're focused more here on the actual points and being able to take a boarding patrol similar to some of the combat patrols which aren't as good of a value. 
but I do find it hard to believe that they're going to sell these two at the same price. And the Chaos Box has roughly $57 more in value inside of it. So more likely than not, this comes in at $220. If we take $150, which is what the Combat Patrols cost, and we divide that by $220, that's going to give us $68, which is a 32% discount, which again is right in line with what you would normally expect. So in my opinion, one of two things likely to happen here. Either we're going to see these priced differently, the Space Marine one close to 110 and this one close to 150, which seems very unlikely to me. I think typically they're going to do like the Battle Forces or the Boarding Patrols at the same price, similar to like the Combat Patrols or the Vanguard boxes. The second option is that there's a mistake and that you actually only get five Legionaries pictured, not the full 10-man squad. But because of how the kit is laid out, I'm just not sure that that's a viable option. So unless they made a whole new kit with only five legionaries in it instead of like the kill team 10 man kit. And even then that doesn't close the gap because if you take away half the value of the legionaries, like roughly $32.50, this one is still about $187.50 and the Space Marine one was only $163. So there's still like a $25 gap. Now it is possible that that's the case and that's how it's meant to be, but something is going to flush out here. That's not correct. In my opinion, there's either an error with the picture and there's supposed to be 10 legionaries. There's an error with the description and there's only supposed to be listed five legionaries or these boxes are going to be priced differently. I'm not honestly sure which one, but one of those is likely to be the case. I think overall, if they're the same price, this is definitely the way to go because this is an awesome deal in comparison. But I do find it hard to believe that they're going to give you the $220 box for the price of the Space Marine one. And the price of the Space Marine one really makes sense at about 110 so unless the Space Marine one's 110 and this one's 150, I have a feeling there's an error in here somewhere. Overall though, I think this is a nice box and especially if you get all this stuff in it and it is 110, it's awesome. If you get all this stuff in it and it's actually 150, it's still not bad. I think I actually probably like it better than the Chaos Combat Patrol. Uh, Abaddon is really, really good right now. The new Cultist models are awesome. The Legionaries are awesome as well. And this is a nice core starting force. And then if you are playing a regular game of 40K, you can easily just put in whatever monsters or vehicles or whatever to kind of complement your starting force. So that being said, some cool new sets right here, uh, but a little bit of question still. So a couple new boarding patrols, very cool, but definitely more questions than answers on this one as something's not quite right. In a world of bloody boarding actions, it's easy to forget the colossal battles that define the 41st millennia are still taking place. Battle fleets are the cohorts raised by Abaddon and Vashtor, tasked with collecting the artifacts needed to complete the Meticulous Plan. So we see a new Battle Fleet Battle Force box for, again, Arcs of Omen specifically, but obviously you could use this in 40k as well. The Battle Fleet Battle Force is a contingent of corrupted warriors comprised of 10 possessed 5 cast Space Marine Terminators and a Helldrake, all led by an Infernal Demon Prince. So definitely a nice looking box right here. Uh, very cool. Looks great on the tabletop. A heady mix of demonic power and debased Astartes Ceramite. This battle force is the ideal way to throw in your lot with the War Master and start scourging the galaxy for the keys to victory. So really nice looking box right here. Let's take a look at the value inside. All right. And once again, I did the math, so you won't have to. So first we have the Demon Prince. I'm guessing he's going to come out at $70. So far, this model has only been released in the Chaos Fantasy box set. So we don't actually know the price yet. He is coming out this week, so we will know in the next day or two. But I'm guessing he's going to be somewhere in between $60 and $70. Maybe $65, but I'm guessing $70. Next, we have a Terminator Squad of five back here, and they are $60. Then we have five possessed right here. We have five more possessed right here. And then we have our Drake for $80. The Helldrake is an interesting choice because there was quite a lot of nerfs to flyers. So this sort of makes me feel like they're just tossing into the box because it's expensive and they're not selling well. Helldrakes are pretty cool overall. I really like the models, but it's definitely a strange selection in a meta where clearly Games Workshop is trying to get away from people using flyers. So if we add all that up, we get a total of $330. And that is the sweet spot that Games Workshop likes to make these boxes. Probably like 75% or more of the boxes come out to roughly or almost exactly $330, which is what makes me think the Demon Prince is going to be 70. But if he's give or take like five or 10 bucks, it's not going to make much of a difference. But if we do the math on that quick little bit of division, $210, which is my guesstimate for what the box is going to cost. The same as all the other Battle Force boxes. If we divide that by 330, 
uh, which is our MSRP value, comes out to 0.64. So that's going to give us 36% savings over retail. So that is right in line with what the rest of the battle forces have been. A lot of people are bummed out that there were so many Space Marine ones and no chaos. Uh, well, here is the chaos. So honestly, happy to see that. It's a nice looking box set. And now a quick message from this week's sponsor. This video is sponsored by CMOGames.com, where you can get 15% off most Games Workshop pre-orders, and they go live right at midnight Saturday mornings. CMOGames.com offers free shipping on orders over $25 in the U.S. 48, and most orders ship within 24 hours. CMOGames.com has been selling Games Workshop products online for more than 20 years, and customer service is their top priority. CMOGames.com carries the full line of Games Workshop products, including 40K, Age of Sigmar, Kill Team, Warcry, Paints, Hobbies, and Tools. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description below so they know you heard about CMOGames.com from Warhammer Man Studios. Now, back to the video. So that being said, really cool. Definitely glad these box sets are coming out. If you don't like them, always you can not buy them. So for me, I would always rather have more options. But I do find it a little bit strange that there is another Battle Force coming out and then also two more basically like boarding patrols or combat patrols. Uh, it's very strange how many box sets Games Workshop has released in such a short period of time. There was eight 40k box sets in the initial Christmas running. There was seven Sigmar box sets. That's 15. We just got the limited box set for the Astra Militarum. We just got the limited box set for the Slaves of Darkness. That puts us at 17 box sets. And then we saw four more Space Marine box sets come in the new year. That puts us at 21 Battle Forces plus this one here is 22 battle forces or box sets plus the two new combat patrols as well that is an insane amount of big boxes full of games workshop minis i'm not sure exactly what's going on here but this feels like full-on desperation i'm glad to see these box sets coming out they're great value especially for those of us in the united states or some of the other places that don't get fairly priced warhammer in the same way that like uk does or even in some senses europe gets a much better deal um, I understand there's tariffs and shipping and all that, but I have broken all that down in the past and there's absolutely no reason for like a 40% premium charging people in the States or Canada or don't even get me started on Australia and New Zealand. Um, I'm surprised anyone there even plays and if they do, they should be just 3D printing everything uh, because honestly, the prices are absolutely insane there. But that being said, aside from all that, it seems very strange that they're selling this many boxes in a row like this. Obviously, Games Workshop has been leaning more in the big battle boxes, and then they're able to make statements on their semi-annual report, like they did last time, where they have sold more miniatures than ever before. But it's very, very strange that they're putting out this many big boxes. I think there is definitely a gap between who Games Workshop thinks their customers are and who their customers actually are. Because the truth is, the game is not like growing a ton. It's just the same people buying more stuff. Now, I'm sure there's some people that have just joined into the hobby or you just got some friends into the hobby. Plenty of like anecdotal reasons or the hobby's more popular or bigger than ever before. Sure, I totally agree with like all those anecdotal things. Everybody has a friend that just started or whatever. But the truth is, the amount of product that Games Workshop is putting out relative to the amount that their customer base has grown in the last one, two, or three years is a massive massive difference they are putting out exponentially more product than they have ever put out in the past i mean i would say their releases are coming two three even five times as frequent and like if you were to buy every release this past year compared to the year before that i think you would probably spend three four or five times as much now i'm not saying that people are out there doing that or that you should do that but what i'm saying is they're making exponentially more of these products limited box sets starter sets battle forces you know, combat patrols, boarding patrols, vanguards. They are releasing this stuff at a ridiculous pace that people honestly are not going to be able to keep up with. As we're essentially going into like some, you know, economic hardships, potential recessions globally, etc. Uh, it just seems very strange how much product Games Workshop is pumping out and how much they're just reboxing a lot of the product they already have. And there's a strong argument to be made that they're just throwing everything in boxes and just trying to clean it out so that they don't have a bunch of stuff in their warehouse. But the truth is, it's not like Games Workshop has massive stock of product just sitting in warehouses that they're unable to sell. They literally go out of their way to make sure that they don't have that situation. So honestly, this just feels like they're pushing the limit to see just how much product they can sell. I don't think this is a sustainable pace for them or for the customer base. 
And I think a lot of people get hobby burnout because of situations like this. They get a new box set or a new battle force or start a new army or something like that. And they're barely getting their hands into it. And then something else flashy and fun and new comes out. And then they pick that up. And now they have an even bigger pile of shame. And then they start to work on that. And then they look at their project that they barely got anything done on. And then something new flashy and fun comes out. And I'm not saying it's Games Workshop's problem. They're obviously a business and trying to sell as much product as they can and make as much profit as they can. That's capitalism. Nothing wrong with that. That's just how it is. But the fact of the matter is, this is going to cause long-term hobby burnout. And what happens is, at first, people stop working on their stuff, and then they start buying a little bit less. And then next thing you know, they're staring at this massive, daunting pile of shame. And then after a while, they're just ready to quit and just try to get some money back for this expensive investment that never really culminated. And that's what I'm afraid of. I love that they're putting out tons of boxes. I love the discounts that they offer inside them because obviously their MSRP prices have gotten pretty insane. But the fact of the matter is, it's very hard for anybody to even keep up with the releases, let alone if they're buying them. So let me know what you think down below. Are you feeling a little bit overwhelmed? Is there just massive amount of boxes coming out? Does it feel like you would rather know what's going to come out a few months in advance so you can kind of plan around it? Because I know a lot of people will buy something and then right afterwards something better comes out and they wish they would have bought that instead, but it's obviously too late. So let me know your opinions down below. Always like to hear back from you guys. I actually think all these boxes are pretty nice. And honestly, I am torn about picking up at least the boarding actions box for Chaos just because I know that I'm going to be getting the World Eaters and they're probably not far down the line. So I want to plan ahead and kind of skip some of these other releases knowing that I'm going to be starting a new army when the World Eaters arrive. So let me know what you think down below. What are you going to be picking up? What are you excited about? What's your opinions on why there's just so much product coming out? Is it starting to get to be a little too much? Or are you feeling that burnout a little bit? Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. You save 15% with free shipping if you order through them. And that's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And honestly, I'm excited for this stuff. But it might be a little too much. And I'm out of here.